The United States aviation industry has long been an emblem of relentless ingenuity, where audacious concepts are forged into reality and groundbreaking milestones redefine the boundaries of possibility. Yet when venturing into the domain of hypersonic velocity, a realm teeming with formidable obstacles and grand aspirations, mere courage and resolve are insufficient. To transform the vision of hypersonic travel into an operational marvel, a paradigm shift in both technological sophistication and strategic perspective is imperative. Out of this ambition emerged the visionary team at Hermes, a company dedicated to propelling the future of aerospace with its pioneering creation, the hypersonic quarter horse. This aircraft represents far more than an engineering feat. It embodies the dawn of an unprecedented era in aviation where intercontinental voyages spanning thousands of miles are condensed into mere minutes, redefining speed as the ultimate benchmark of advancement. In today's discourse, we delve into the intricacies of this groundbreaking hypersonic technology. Could this innovation herald a transformative epoch in aviation and revolutionize contemporary military prowess? The Legacy of Supersonic Flight and the Quest for Greater Speed For many, the notion of supersonic flight immediately conjures images of the legendary Concorde, a marvel of engineering brought to life through Anglo-French collaboration the Concorde once pierced the skies at a staggering 1,354 minute per hours, dwarfing the velocities of conventional commercial airliners. Yet as formidable as its speed was, it fell short of hypersonic classification, which commences at Mach 5, approximately 3,836 minute per hours, a threshold that contemporary aerospace innovators seek to surpass. The Concorde's final voyage took place over two decades ago, in November 2003 when it etched its name in history by completing a flight from New York to Seattle in a mere 3 hours, 55 minutes and 12 seconds, an achievement that no commercial aircraft has since eclipsed. However, stringent US regulations restricting supersonic travel over domestic airspace relegated much of the Concorde's route to Canadian skies, where fewer residential areas and lenient regulations facilitated its flight. Though the Concorde's chapter in aviation history has closed, its legacy endures, having paved the way for future advancements in high-speed air travel. The insights gleaned from its tenure continue to inspire cutting-edge research, potentially reshaping the aviation landscape by enhancing speed, efficiency, and the practical application of hypersonic technology in commercial aviation. Enter Hermes, an ambitious aerospace startup not merely aiming to resurrect the Concorde's legacy, but to transcend it in every conceivable dimension. This bold enterprise has set forth an audacious objective, reducing transatlantic travel time between New York and London to a mere 90 minutes, a journey that previously demanded nearly three hours aboard the Concorde. At the helm of this ambitious endeavor is CEO A.J. Piplica, alongside a cadre of elite engineers, many of whom hail from pioneering aerospace institutions such as SpaceX and Blue Origin. Their mission is not just an exercise in technological ambition, it is a determined effort to fundamentally reshape the aviation sector, promising intercontinental transit in under an hour and a half. The genesis of their quest lies in the quarter horse a hypersonic, unmanned prototype designed to obliterate records set by the legendary SR-71 Blackbird reconnaissance aircraft. The SR-71, long revered as the fastest military jet ever constructed, boasted a peak velocity of Mach 3.3 or 2000, 193 minute per hour. Yet Hermes aims to shatter this benchmark with the quarter horse, targeting an astonishing Mach 5 thereby venturing into the uncharted frontier of hypersonic travel. Achieving such prodigious velocity necessitates propulsion technology of unparalleled sophistication. The power plant that enabled the SR-71's unparalleled speed, the Pratt & Whitney J-58 engine, was a marvel of its time, designed in the 1950s to sustain high speeds at elevated altitudes. However, it encountered inefficiencies at speeds below Mach 2.5 and faced substantial deceleration challenges. Recognizing these limitations, the Hermes team undertook the Herculean task of developing an entirely new propulsion system, 
the Chimera engine. Aptly named after the fire-breathing creature of Greek mythology, Chimera is a hybrid engine that synergizes multiple propulsion technologies to achieve superior performance across a broad spectrum of velocities. At the core of Chimera lies the turbine-based combined cycle technology, an innovative fusion of turbojet, ramjet, and scramjet propulsion systems. Each of these engines excels within specific velocity ranges, and their seamless integration represents a significant milestone in the quest for reusable hypersonic flight. Turbojet engine Capable of initiating flight from a standstill and accelerating past Mach 2, the turbojet serves as the foundation for initial propulsion. Ramjet engine Activated once the aircraft reaches Mach 2, the ramjet efficiently sustains hypersonic speeds but struggles at lower velocities. Scramjet engine Engineered for extreme velocities beyond Mach 5, the scramjet ensures prolonged hypersonic flight but faces operational challenges at lower speeds. The meticulous orchestration of these three propulsion systems is no trivial feat. The transition from turbojet to ramjet and subsequently to scramjet requires an exquisitely calibrated control system capable of ensuring uninterrupted propulsion throughout the flight. In just 21 months and with a modest investment of $18 million, Bermuda's achieved a significant breakthrough, successfully demonstrating Chimera's transition from turbojet to ramjet operation. Yet, this achievement is merely the beginning. To further refine hypersonic propulsion, Hermes is now developing Chimera 2, leveraging the formidable Pratt & Whitney F-100 engine, a powerhouse already deployed in elite fighter jets such as the F-15 Eagle and F-16 Fighting Falcon. Renowned for its robustness and sustained high power output, the F-100 engine serves as the ideal foundation for Chimera 2, Designed to maintain Mach 2.5 speeds over extended durations without degradation, this propulsion system marks a pivotal advancement in hypersonic technology. Moreover, enhancements in control systems and energy transfer will optimize engine transitions, ensuring seamless shifts between turbojet, ramjet, and scramjet phases. By integrating the FEV100 engine with TBCC architecture, Chimera 2 will not only push the boundaries of hypersonic capability, but also establish a new paradigm for sustainable and efficient high-speed aviation. Despite the impressive strides made by Hermes, significant challenges remain. The integration of the F-100 engine into the TBCC system necessitates meticulous refinement, ensuring seamless engine synchronization without performance compromises. Furthermore, optimizing fuel efficiency and enhancing reusability remain pivotal to reducing operational costs and fostering widespread adoption of hypersonic travel. Nonetheless, Hermes' rapid progress underscores the increasing feasibility of reusable hypersonic flight. Chimera 2 is not merely an advancement in speed and performance, it represents a transformative shift in aerospace engineering unlocking the potential for both military and civilian applications. Imagine a world where intercontinental travel is measured in minutes rather than hours, where a flight from New York to London takes a mere 90 minutes. Is this the dawn of an aviation renaissance or merely a tantalizing vision of the future? The answer may arrive sooner than we expect. Your engagement is vital in these discussions. If this analysis resonated with you, don't hesitate to like, share and subscribe for more insights into pressing global and regional developments. Let us know your perspectives in the comments below. Your voice is an essential part of these critical conversations. Until next time, stay informed and engaged.